we'll get you all fixed up with what we need for our next little clam digging adventure. All right, you ready? All right, let's go. All right, watch the traffic. This is a busy place here. Okay, well here's my friend right here. Here our, our friend Mark, and he'll get you fixed up. In fact, I see him, he's standing right here. He's not going too far. Mark! How can I help? Good to see you. This is the young lady I was telling you about. Need to get, need to get set up with clam I know that's why we're here. Let's go to the clam pier section. All right, Which cool. Start with boots. She's got she's boots on, but she, she'll need something different. Let's, yeah. go, let's go get water food. <laughs> okay, so we have options in keeping you waterproof and waveproof for rain gear and, and boots, but boots are a necessity. Options are hip boots. Just come up to your hip, keep you waterproof, or you can be completely waterproof. Neoprene, booted, grab the wrong one. slide into a pair of rain gear like that. It'll be completely waterproof up your chest. Rain or shine, no sand. <laughs> slide, slide them on and off. The boots are a little quicker and easier, but these you can just slide on over whatever you're wearing. Go clam dig and slide them off, throw them in the back of the truck and be completely weather and waterproof. We got these on. Help you get undressed? Well, it's all about having fun. He might be faster at it than you are. I'm sure. Just step right in. This is the latest style, is that correct? It is the most fashionable thing that we have, right? I've seen a few of them out on the beach like this, and they do stay nice and dry. go fishing in these too. Absolutely. You bet. Right. There you go. Well, you got the suspenders on backwards. Okay. <laughs> I haven't seen about that. It's all no, no, here. Let's do it this way. There you go. You can bend when you, you, are when, when you get when you get down yeah, when you get down to the beach now, you know, you pick up your clam, you mm -hmm. you won't be getting all wet and nasty and grimy. Like hitting my back and like that. The water will run down your fan <laughs> yeah. leg while you're hanging right. your bag. Yeah. Fan bag on the side of yourself. Yeah. And you know you just hose the things off when you get home, hang them up, and in and out quick. How's the fit? Feels good. Cool. You would like would you like those?
pushed up the shutters and you put tires on this one. <laughs> I second and third that. <laughs> oh no. How's that fit? Good. Well, we don't look really close right now. My wife likes to wear gloves. We can go take a look at gloves real quick. The razor clam shells are a little uh, sharp at night. Which I'm betting those are probably fit you just about perfect. So keep your hands warm. You can still feel the clams. Mm -hmm. And uh, don't need anything real heavy. But uh, go grip a clam and pick it up out of the sand for you. Well, now let's and then at that the point, we're on to the, the fun part. Yeah. Clam digging. There you go. Let's, uh, what are we digging with today? Let's go over to the clam digging section. So, England Marine offers several types of clam guns, anywhere from $12 or $13.95. Got a plastic gun that uh, is not long in life, but will go get you a limit of clams just fine. To the clam hawk or crab hawk is a unique gun. In fact, it's all hand-rolled stainless steel, has a PVC top, but it has an air tube down the side. So when you put this in the sand and pull it up, the air tube lets air down under the gun so you're not pulling against all the suction hurting your back. A lot more gentle on the back. Very important. Mm -hmm. And uh, for ladies particularly, that's a lot easier on their back. They love that gun and they come in several models, tall and short. And, uh, and then larger diameter guns so you don't have to be quite as good a shot and not break the clam. <laughs> then you can just take that and center it over the clam hole, push it down, put your thumb over the hole here, lift it back out, it'll be full of sand and your clam should be somewhere in the in the chamber. So this is kind of more my size. You know you're a pretty tall gal? I am. Compared oh. to, I would probably use this one because by the time you push this all the way down, it's going to be that far down in the sand. So with that one, you'd be way bent over. This one probably be a lot easier to pull up where you wouldn't have to bend over so far to pull it out. We need to remember the back. Yes. You know when we did this before? Right. There you Beyond go. that, available are also stainless steel guns without a tube. Aluminum guns without a tube. Now this does have an air hole. It does. It's underneath on this one. Oh, okay. So the air hole is underneath, so you just put your hand over, over the trigger there and lift up. Then we have aluminum guns made locally here in Astoria, just for England Marine, um, with an air tube on the side. This is the original air tube gun, all out of aluminum. And we have the Magnum and Wall, the all stainless, again made exclusively for England Marine here in Astoria, and uh, six other stores down the coast. But it has a trigger on the bottom so it doesn't fill up with sand, so that little screw pushes right up in there when you push it down. You pull it up again, it lets air underneath, but it's a little heavier than the others. Mm -hmm. So it's something to carry around, but it is really easy on the back and uh, all handmade. Yeah, that's not heavy, but if you were having carrying it for a while, well, it's the clams that are heavy. Yeah. Okay. So, this other one that has the air hole, uh -huh. does that get plugged up? Not very often. We have a little wire that you can run down that thing and, and unplug it, but it doesn't get plugged up very often. And by far right now our most popular clam gun. By far. Right. Along with that to get clams, you want a clam sand tamper or thumper. So when the clams aren't showing real good, there's not donuts all over the beach, you go down and you hit the sand like that and it scares a little clam and he pulls his neck down and makes a little hole. Mm -hmm. So you can spot it. It also helps to stand up if you're in a wave. Get a wave that comes in, gives you a little support. Stand up. What's the cord for, Mark? To lash it to your body so you don't lose it. So when you find the clam, you just let this thing go, grab your gun, 
throw at it, pick your cord back up, and go back to, makes sense. Yeah. to getting clams. And after you've got your clam, we have to have something to put it in. In Oregon and Washington, <coughs> everybody is required to have their own clam gathering bag. You can't put them together. If you and him are clamming together, you can't have 30 clams for your 15 of these on the same bag. You will get a ticket, and they're very liberal about giving those out. So you have to have your own bag. So a bag like this, either one, is a little heavier duty. This one's probably not going to last as long. This one's a little more expensive. But you get your clams in this, you get all your clams, you count your 15. It's real nice to be able to go out in the ocean or water and we'll dip them and wash them off and take your clams home in your bag. Beyond that, we have shovels. A little harder to dig with, but if you commercial dig clams, you're required to use a shovel. You can't legally use a gun. So we also have clam shovels and all the old guy diggers that have been doing it for a long time like to use a shovel for whatever reason. Let me ask you a question. Sure. Which of these units here, this one here has to be on a belt, is that right? That's correct. You wear a belt? Mm -hmm. So, you know. This one has a little snap, you can snap it onto a belt loop. Or we also, we not right here, we sell stretchy belts to put on those. Bungee cords or stretchy, yeah, that, that's good, that's good. Which of these would you uh, recommend? This one will last you a lot longer. And nobody can see how many clams you've really got in it. Oh, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> this, one, this one's pretty obvious as to what you're catching yeah, and what yeah. you've got. Yeah. And also sometimes they'll get their neck out through the little mesh and the smaller than these, this style of a bag. And you'll end up cutting the neck or the foot off while they're trying to dig around in there. Mm -hmm. so what do you think? I think I'm ready to go clamming. I think she is too. So what, what are we recommending for gun? We got, you got to have a gun. Yeah, I think, yeah, that's right. To make it. Very good. It's a good choice. It's easy on your back, you know. Uh, being stainless steel, it's going to last you a while, too. Yeah, exactly. You should be able to will that one to your grandkids. Oh, good. Now, is there anything else you might need? You know, if you're climbing at night, we can get a lantern or a headlamp. We could look at that if you want. You know, sure. are you going to be coming back to see me this fall? Uh, probably. Mm -hmm. Good. Good chance they will. We'll buy that. Do you need a license? Oh, don't oh, forget. Yeah. You are required in both states to have a license. Right. It is not, uh, you have to have a license for either our state, whether you're in Washington or Oregon. You have to have a license for the state. Do you want to look at the light real quick, Mike? Sure, let's well, look at the light. And we'll get our light. license and we can go. We can go clam then. still the best and then we also sell a lantern propane stand to keep the thing up out of the wave so when you're digging your clam you can set that thing down the wave will go underneath it and it'll illuminate all the way around but most of the time you're going to hold your your light low mm -hmm. so you can look across and see the show mm -hmm. where they're at and then you can set this thing down dig your clam and if a little bit of water hits that lens when it's real hot it'll crack it so we put that stand underneath there so the waves and the water go underneath it and it's a lot harder to tip over and break. Other than that, sometimes we use a headlamp, which I may or may not have right here. Well, what I was looking for, Mark, I want to find her when I take her clam. Now, somebody else may be taking her, I'll darn it, but how am I going to distinguish her from the other hundred lamps that are on the beach? Do we have a flashing strobe light? We have this little dude right here, but I doubt that you can put this in the car so you can find your way back to the car. Well, that's this little guy do does, if I can make it fly here, multiple things when it works. Shoot out. So you got a little light. Put on there. That so it's got a magnet so you can put it on the roof of your car so you can find your way back to your car easy. It has several settings to do all kinds of different stuff. That's a great idea. <laughs> I, I have walked a lot of miles trying to find my car. I dare. 
Because you, you get so interested in oh, yeah, you you know, getting where the plans to yeah. forget. Yeah. Yeah. As far as finding her, I don't know if I have the answer for that one. <laughs> <laughs> Hold well, her hand, don't lose her. Yeah. If she knows what I like that, uh, she can find her own way back, hopefully. Right? Hopefully. And if she can't, there's always lots of people on the beach off the line. Yeah, not necessarily yeah. the people you want to take a ride from. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Anything else we need to think of that we might need? Boy, I can't think of a thing except a beach and a clam type. Let's go. All right. Let's go get a clam. Right. A non-resident, a resident, shellfish license. It's fairly inexpensive. Either way, in Oregon, a resident license is uh, $7 for the year. Out-of-state license is $16.50. And uh, you're ready to go for the season. All right. Cool. So in-state or out-of-state license, are you a resident of Oregon? I really appreciate that. All right, sir. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Go so enjoy clam digging. All right. We'll have fun. Let's know I'm sure. how we do. Okay. Um, oh, well, it's your clam gun. It's not mine. You can carry your own clam gun. You can carry your own gun. Thank you, guys. All right. I'm good. Thank you, sir. Yeah. We'll get you all set up. Off to the beach we go. What do you see when you get a clam on? Huh? Yahoo Buckaroo. <laughs> all right. Let's go. Watch that first step, it's a dandy. <laughs> 